What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today we're going to be doing a couple different things, getting the TC further ready for the summer. Um, we have a couple things to install, such as the car guys, garage, battery box, we have that. Um, we have this little piece, although it's not painted or anything, um, we're going to mock it up so we can see what we're looking at. And when we do decide to do the engine bay with, um, we have, uh, with, I have HPS performance um, hoses to do all the radiator lines and stuff like that. So when we do that and we can take the car apart for a day, we can get the um, valve cover painted. We're going to do that and paint this at the same time. So we're just going to mock this up. This way it's in the car. You can see what it looks like. Um, this way you guys can see what it looks like. See how it is to install it. Um, looks like the two mounting pieces are right here. Um, we have the seat we're going to put the seat in to the driver's side um, and potentially lay down all of the nice uh, show style floor mats um, I did however receive mirror caps uh, they're used um, they're not in perfect condition um, it's very very faded um, so I We'll see. Also, the fitting, the fitment itself isn't the greatest. Um, we did mock it up, um, and it's just, I don't know. We're going to figure it out. It's probably not something we're going to be installing today, but it's just something that I do have. Um, we have it for the TC on both sides. Um, I do, um, the main reason why I got these is I am having something else big coming in carbon fiber, and just having the side skirts just as, you know, it's nice, it looks nice, it looks cool, but we need more carbon fiber on the car. Mirror caps, something I always want to do is make them black. Um, but then, obviously, with the carbon fiber, it would be just nice to have carbon fiber, mirror caps, side skirts. And, of course, the other carbon fiber piece that I am on back order for. So, uh, yeah. So, we had that stuff. We have a couple stuff to install today. Um, some of the stuff you guys already saw. So, I'm just going to kind of, you know in and out with that with that stuff and then we'll go when we go to install after the seats are installed I should say install the battery box because we have to disconnect the battery anyway we'll be able to pull the battery out put the battery box in there um, I believe actually I don't even have to pull out the battery box it looks like it's just a slide on um, and it has uh, these two thumb screws on the top what it looks like here on the top just twist them off because I believe it just mounts up to the top like that. Um, I haven't mocked it up, so it should be it should be form fitting. Um, usually he's pretty dead on. Uh, the guy who makes all this stuff, he's usually pretty dead on um, with everything. Um, nice finish to it. Uh, the blue isn't as dark as the blue that I have for the hose kit. Um, maybe if I can get somebody else to get that color blue, maybe we'll do that. Um, but Nonetheless, it is blue when it's going into the car. Um, the engine bay, obviously there's nothing too much done to it. Like I said, I do have ho a hose kit here for back here. Nice HPS performance hose kit. Some we are going to be installing in the future, but it's not warm enough outside to do all that. It's actually pretty cold today. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Time to go outside, uh, to disconnect the battery obviously because we don't want that to explode uh, or anything to disconnect and freak out. So we're going to disconnect the battery, um, take the seat out, um, and it should be relatively easy this time because I already have all the mounting, all the hardware, which I found out, or, by the way, don't do what I did. There is like a kit for like $8, just buy the hardware at that point. Just buy the hardware for the Braum Racing seats. Um, it's there, might as well get it, right, instead of having to fight for it and look for it and do your own so yeah uh, but like I said I already have the already have all the hardware so it should be nice in and out and uh, yeah it should be really nice I'm actually looking forward to uh, having everything um, yeah talk to you guys in a little bit all right guys so um, I figure while I'm up here I might as well just do everything so um, disconnected the battery uh, negative positive um, I can't get it off from here, so I have to take it off from the top bolt, whatever. Um, so yeah, uh, you do have to take off. You do have to take off the, the little sleeve around the battery. 
for the kit to work. Um, but once it's off, you can easily slide over. Um, just make sure you watch out for um, the harness itself back there. It did get caught on it. And now, obviously I'm not going to put the top bracket on with the thumb screws. Alright guys, so I was able to get the, uh, the coil pack cover installed. Um, I still have to tighten it down. I don't have uh, one of those extensions. You need a 10 millimeter extension. Probably also a deep uh, socket so you can reach back behind here and tighten it down properly. But uh, yeah, so these are 10 millimeter uh, bolts or nuts, whatever you want to call them. Um, back those off, place this in there. There is a little cutout for the harness here and also obviously all the rest of the harness pieces go out there. I actually questioned why there's nothing there, but now it makes sense. Everything kind of runs this way, except for this piece right here, the one back there, and everything got out to the right. But uh, yeah, it looks good so far. Definitely looks like I'll be able to do oil changes uh, with no problem with, without removing it. Engine bay is slowly but surely coming together. Like I said, we do want to paint the valve cover at some point. We're, we're talking about what we can do with this. Um, especially with everything that's going on and the times and stuff like that. So maybe we'll paint it. I don't know. We'll figure it out when we get there. This entire engine needs to be cleaned. The engine bay is absolutely horrendous. But we're slowly but surely making it show presentable, I guess. So. Yeah. All right. Let's do the seats and then we'll finish putting this back together. Now, obviously, this is a little bit something that you know, is it a one, two, three, the first setup. So if you guys haven't seen the first video, go watch it. But from here, we're just gonna snap right through this. And just like that, we're back into the car. I, I forgot how low it sits. Um, I'll tell you this much. It is very, very windy here today. So that took a way longer than it should have. Um, the door kept hitting me, kept knocking me out. I had stuff flying all around, having to stop and you know make sure I go chase that stuff down. It got super windy in here for like two seconds. Wind tunnels, they're not good. They're not good, so yeah. Anyway, it's back in, sits much lower than OEM. It sits way lower than OEM, because this is eye level here. Usually, I mean, I, usually I could see Probably about there is typical, but it's much, much lower. Like, like I said, it's about, it's about here. I'm in here. Yeah, we're good. Now, let's go finish. Let's go figure out how to put this battery cover back on. Cause I thought about it to myself, and I'm like, how do I put the battery cover on with the thumb screws in the bottom? Because it's not like the thumb screws are like welded or bolted to the, the bracket. So how, do, how am I gonna do that? Put the battery back on. Is it something I'm supposed to kind of do beforehand? I see, that would seem kind of silly because I got, it's, yeah, it's not possible because I gotta mount this back up. So I'm gonna figure out how exactly I'm supposed to put this back in here with the thumb screws. Because obviously when this is connected, it's you know it's going to have power running to it. So I don't know if these are supposed to be mounted to anything, the, or the thumb screws are supposed to be mounted somewhere in here. Because like I said, how 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 exactly does that necessarily work? So let me try to figure that out. Because um, it definitely needs to get that bracket put back in. But how do I? I guess I could put everything down together with it. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Talk to you guys in a little bit. Now, doesn't that look better? We got the coil pack. We got the battery pack cover. Or battery box. Um, the clearance on it. Um, nowhere near the ground. And obviously the plastic piece on the, uh, uh, the positive it's going to be no, it's not going to be touching it whatsoever. Even if you didn't have that little plastic piece on top of it, I think you'd still be okay. Um, what I ended up doing to get this in here, um, you are able to do this, uh, obviously mounted up the way you normally would. 
Um, what I ended up doing is I ended up putting this side in first by uh, having this entire piece off to, off to the side, mounting up the thumb screw with this because this side's a little bit harder to get to than the ground side. So this side, put the thumb screw down, uh, the thumb screw through, and then also that little uh, I don't know what kind of nut that is. A butterfly nut? Is that what it's called? I don't know. Uh, put it in there, hold it down, tighten it a little bit, not all the way, because you don't you want to be able to rotate it. Rotate it around, and there's a lot of spacing on this side to get your finger in there just to hold it. So you can put this thumb screw in there. It doesn't need to be super tight. It's in there. It's really just there for cosmetic purposes. Looks really good. As you guys can see, like this, the blue, it's a little bit different. Don't mind that's that it's super dirty and obvious so it's a little bit different and like i said this is it's an hps uh hoses that i got so this is going to be the same color or this is still gonna be a different color regardless of how i do it so um we'll see what ends up happening so yeah, like i said if i have to repaint this oh well just the, just this piece right here i wanted to make sure i get uh the car guys the car guys garage branding it's about to be super super windy Got that in there, also with our branding on top. So, yeah, uh, now we're gonna, Alex is coming over with his little adapter, or not adapter, to do the exhaust. Right now the exhaust moves so, so much. Right now the exhaust has so much play in it, we're gonna fix that. All right guys, so uh, now it's time to do the hangers. Alex is still on his way, but uh, yeah, these are just regular 20, uh, 12 millimeter torque, I believe they're uh, I believe torque solutions exhaust hangers. Um, they're definitely a little bit more solid, a little bit more bulky than the OEM ones that are in the back of the car. Um, so hopefully with this we'll be able to uh, completely negate the flex. Obviously there's still always built, will be some flex and over time these will warm up and they'll move a little bit, allowing the exhaust to move. Um, not that this exhaust gets super, super hot anyway, but uh, this should definitely do it. There's two of them. Um, yeah, so once he gets here, Alex has a tool to remove it. Getting them on, that's another story. All right, guys, so uh, we actually just finished installing the hangers. Sits a little bit higher now. It has less wiggle than it did before. Um, if I am able to get a clip of it driving now, um, that I have this installed. Uh, I will input it here and show you what it was before and after. Um, another note, it's snowing. It is March. We went from bright and sunny to cloudy. It is currently snowing. And it's snowing, I don't know if it's snow or hail, but the wind is really crazy, so we're gonna go back inside for a little bit. And now the sun's coming back out. <laughs> So it got really really windy the cloud coverage it snowed and now it's going back to normal either way we're gonna go down to the basement this weather welcome to New York all right guys so we're back downstairs in the basement uh, so some of you might wonder why I only did one seat in the back of the T it back into the TC um, for obvious reasons comfort um, it is my daily driver um, if you, me and my girlfriend go anywhere, we end up trying to take my car because her car is a lease. So we just try to make sure we use mine as much as possible, uh, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Um, but, you know, just comfort for her sitting in the passenger seat. She's not a big, she's not a car person per se. She supports what I do with my cars and, uh, you know, tell me, tell, you know, she's very supportive about what I do. Um, so just to give her some type of comfort, you know, isn't a bad thing. Also, safety. Um, sure, you can trip the ba uh, the airbag system with like a relay or a resistor, whatever it is. Um, they use this, uh, this company used to make uh, these little switches that you can use in them. Um, unfortunately, they don't make them anymore in their supplier and everything that's going on. Um, so I just end up saying, you know what, let me just put it into uh, just the driver's seat. Um, obviously, I have the second seat. Now what I could do with that is actually I could put it into the skyline into the driver's seat. So that's the cool thing about that having, you know, one and one on either side. So, uh, yeah, so safety wise, like I said, my girlfriend does go with me on trips 
Um, also for my passengers, any passengers that, are, that I may or may not have in the side of my car, um, just for safety purposes because the airbag light is off completely uh, or the airbag itself, there's nothing to trip it to turn it on and it just has an extra, also there's an extra light on my dashboard saying that the, my passenger doesn't have their seatbelt on and this and that. So uh, while I could trip it, while I could take everything out of it, just for safety purposes, I'm just gonna just leave it as a driver's side. Um, so yeah, there's that. So uh, yeah, um, I actually got a decent amount of stuff done today. We still have to put in my floor mats, which are underneath this right here, um, and the engine bay clearly isn't done. Uh, like I said, we do have. Um, we do want to paint it, we do want to figure out maybe a header depending on loudness and whether or not we can get a catted one because I don't want to go completely catless because the car's already loud enough. Um, also just for sound purposes, the, the car sounds great, why change it? That's my kind of mentality with it. Um, but who knows, maybe we'll test it out if we have the ability to, which we might in the near future have the ability to test out the exhaust um, with a header, without with like a, like a not a catless, a catted header, a race header. Um, we'll see what happens. Uh, I might have a lead on a Dizod Green. So, so this is what I mean. Um, obviously, it's not the greatest. It obviously has to be touched up. Uh, the carbon is really yellow on this. Very yellow. And this one isn't so bad. I believe it's the passenger side one that is very noticeable when it comes down to... Uh, the fading and like I said, the, it, uh, obviously I could polish this up, um, but it's definitely yellow. Definitely should honestly the resin should probably be cleaned up off of it and have new resin laid down. Um, maybe I'll try to find a place that's local to me that works on carbon fiber. Maybe they can figure out a way to clean it up. Um, they also might tell me that it's just not possible. So we'll see what happens with this. Um, it would really bummed. Uh, not too crazy about it, but. Uh, it is what it is at this point. We have them. Maybe we could try flipping them. Maybe somebody else will, Maybe somebody else knows on how to, they can do it, and they'll do it themselves. So, yeah. So that's it with those. So the other day, I ended up uh, taking my mirror caps off be, because of these. Um, I know that I knew that they weren't replacements. I knew they were just simply a a, a cap for the cap. Um, but one of the things I ended up doing was I took off the cap and I also took off the light for the turn signals. The reason being is these are dark. These are dark and the turn signals are very bright. So here's what I did. All right guys, so um, I, <laughs> I think I'm getting a little bit uh, lightheaded down here. I have a headache. Uh, trying to do the best I can. Um, it didn't come out perfect. I, I mean, we obviously know that I'm not a professional here, so we're just gonna roll with it and see what happens. So, this is this is how shiny this is how shiny this is typically. Um, it's not crazy but it is super bright uh much it being down here this terrible lighting you're not really gonna get the full effect out of it but holding them next to each other you could definitely see the difference between the tinted and the non-tinted um uh, it's not super super dark which is definitely what i wanted i didn't want it to jet black i could have went jet black and it probably would have went in perfectly but um uh, it's a nice light tint um, hopefully I did it well enough that it'll stay on. If not, well, then I guess I'll have to redo them again or have somebody else do them. Um, yeah, honestly, for, for the first time, messing with this tint, not bad, N not bad. Um, uh, so I ended up, so obviously now that they're, they're on the car, they're installed, um, they look really nice. I'll post a picture of it here somewhere on the car with them on. Um, it definitely is something cool. Uh, the tint that I have isn't super dark. So it is something that I'm kind of considering doing 
either the rear lights or the, the tail lights and maybe potentially the headlights. Um, we'll see. Um, they're not on there perfect. It's not perfect. I am not perfect with wrapping. Um, it, it's, it, I definitely should have done it on the car, not so much down here. Um, just because it's small pieces and I don't have somebody else or anything to mount it to in order to get a nice, so I can hold the vinyl, install it, and not have to worry about doing anything else. So, um, like I said, it's not perfect, but I'm working on it and we'll see what happens in the future with wrapping down here. I think a little bit bigger pieces like the fenders but that have very little flex and I can kind of place it down the floor and kind of cushion it. Um, that might be pretty easy to do off the car, maybe. A bumper, probably better to do off of a car than on it. Um, so yeah, we'll dabble a little bit more on that uh, in terms of vinyl wrapping in the future. All right guys, so we did a lot of stuff today. We did the coil pack cover and battery box from the car guy's garage. Link to his website below in the description. Um, we installed the Braum racing seats again. Love them, sit so much, sit so much better, a little bit more comfort feeling. Love that stuff. And then what else did we do? We did the, uh, we did the exhaust hangers. That that honestly, it, it changed the the location of where the exhaust sits in the back. Also, when I'm driving, it won't be moving all over the place. So that's the good news about that. Um, and I believe that was it. We talked about a decent amount of stuff today too. Um, it, it was all around a good day. It was all around a good day. So, uh, guys, if you guys like this video, be sure to hit the like button. If you guys are ready for a Skyline build, that's going to be starting soon. Please hit the subscribe button. And let us know if you guys want to see anything else done to the TC. We have some decent stuff still to do on the TC. Um, it's going to be, you know, this. it's, it's going to be a never-ending build with that thing. Maybe we'll try headers out. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But uh, let us know what else you want to see done with the TC. I'm kind of open to testing it out. So, uh, yeah. All right, guys. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. I'm going to go sit down for a little bit, try to relax on this Sunday afternoon. See you guys in the next one. Later.